When it comes to quadratics, in particularly, we're going to look at expanding and factorizing quadratics, but we're looking at three terms in this particular part here. Okay. Three terms in the expression and an example to get there would be, we're gonna start from expanding. So the question let's suppose says, expand x minus one, x plus. When I expand this, I take the first term x and I multiply it by both the terms in the second bracket. So x times x is x squared and x times two x. Then I take one, negative one in this case, and multiply it by both of them. Negative one times x is negative x, and multiply it by two, become negative two. And you'll notice I end up with four terms, and also the middle two terms are like terms. So I'm going to simplify them by taking two x minus x, which gets me x, bring down the minus two and bring down the x squared. And I'm now done. I've expanded the brackets and removed the brackets. And now I'm left with a power of two function, which is a quadratic. Taking that same answer now, and I'm supposedly, let's just say I'm asked to factorize x squared plus x minus two. How would I go back to that bracket? Is the question. The first thing I do is I start with my constant. In this case, two. And write down all the factors of two that multiply to get two, right? So two times one, in this case, is the only two numbers that would multiply to get two. Then open up the brackets. Okay, so the next part, open up some brackets and place the two over here and the one over here, let's just say. Okay. Now remember, the last two terms have to multiply to get the last term. That's how this ended up here, right? We also know that the last term is negative two, so we need to make it either positive and negative or negative and positive. And we can decide which one works out. All right, I'm gonna jump in and let's say I keep a pencil handy so I can erase this if I'm wrong. I'm gonna put a plus two and a minus one over there. The next thing I got is x squared. x squared is found by multiplying the first two terms in the bracket. We saw that x times x got me x squared. If I'm going backwards, I know I have to have x in here and I have to have x in here. Now it looks complete, but we have to check if our answer is correct. The only way to check our answer is correct would be to check if these signs are correct. If the signs were let's say the other way, let's say this was plus one and minus two, why won't it be correct? Let's check. If I multiply the first two terms, I know that's going to be x squared. And this is now just a check. x times 1 is x. And minus 2 times x is minus 2x. So what you notice is that the outer two terms get to plus x. And the inner two terms get to minus 2x. And then minus 2 all right, so the last two terms, which is minus two times plus one of each bracket, becomes minus two. One minus two is minus x. And we end up with x squared minus x minus two. And they are not the same. You can see they're different. So we know we got the signs wrong. We have to make this into a plus. We have to make that into a minus. So if we did it in pencil, we could quickly switch it around. So let's suppose I made this now minus and I made this plus and I do a quick check. To do a quick check, 
you can use what is known as the smiley face method. Put two smiley faces, this gets you two X, that gets you negative X, and the middle term is positive X. So then this is the correct answer. And now we factorize. Remember, factorizing is about creating brackets here. Expanding is about removing the brackets. I want you to try exactly the same method that I'm showing you over here. And I want you to expand these two brackets, x minus three, x plus four. And then I want you to factorize that answer to see if you can get back. All right, give it a go. See if you can do that. All right, let's go through this one now. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to expand. X times X becomes X squared. X times four becomes four X. Then go to negative three. Negative three times X, negative three X. Negative three times four, negative 12. Combine the like terms and write your final answer. Four X minus three X is plus X. Bring down negative 12 when we're done. We want to factorize X squared plus X minus 12. So we start from the last term, we take 12, and we look for factors of 12 that will end up as the middle number plus one over there. This can be four times three, two times six, and it can also be one times 12. Four times three can also become four minus three, which is equal to one. And that's the middle term. That's what we wanna get. We wanna get to one by plusing or minusing the middle two terms. Because remember, the middle two terms end up as the middle terms. So they plus and minus each other to get there. So if it was four and three, it would become one, and it should be four and three, we can see. But why won't it be two and six? If you have two plus minus six, you can either get eight or you can get negative four. If you have one plus minus 12, you can get 13 or you can get negative 11, positive 11, the other way around, right? And none of those is one. The only one that gets you one is that, which means that this is the factors that we need in our bracket. So we open up our bracket, we take the x squared, remember, and distribute it to each part, x and then you take negative 12, distribute it to each part using four and three, put four in one place, put three in one place. Now remember, you need to get to positive one x, positive one x there. So you need plus four, and using a smiley face test, you can get four x, and a minus three will get you a positive x. If it was the other way around, it would end up as a negative x. So that's my final answer, factorized.